lost one of our top runners with Ellie Catron moving on to Drummond College. Um, but we feel like we've got a couple of really good freshmen to come in and fill, fill the team, and we look good. Let's talk about boys first. You know, having a guy like Ben Shear kind of leading that team, he might not be a super vocal leader, but mm -hmm. he seems like he's just a guy that – when people rally around, what is it yeah. like to have a guy like that leading this group? Well, because they're able to see how the hard work matches up with the success. I mean, here's a, here's a kid that'll run a 154, 800, and then go out and you know, bust potentially a 1430, 5K, and, but they see what it, what it takes, the combination of the speed work that he does, as well as the endurance work, and so they rally around it. And it's been really Who do you see emerging to really lead this team? Yeah, Fern Shirley. So she's uh, she's been with the program all for all four years and being able to to now step up. She she was one that really kind of watched Ellie and watched the the hard work and and the improvements and uh, and Fern put in a lot of work over through quarantine and through the summer work time when we were able to to be able to start to work early and so she's been working hard for a while. All right, well, Coach Tom Earl, TWCA, the Dean of Coaches here. Good luck this season as y'all move up from 4 to 5A. Thank you, sir.